It happens more often than people want to admit. They were locked out of their WordPress website. Whether they were hacked or a user that they give admin privileges to their WordPress website locked them out and changed their password or something else happened. Aloha everybody, it's Chris Jules and today I'm gonna to show you how to reset your password through your MySQL database. Now, if a user on your website got locked out or their password was changed or their email was changed, they won't be able to go to the front end and reset their password through their email address. Now, as an admin, you could go into your WordPress dashboard and change their password, change their email address and help them out. But what if it was you as an admin that cannot go into your WordPress dashboard anymore? You can't log in, you can't go to the front end and reset your password through your email. You've been hacked, you've been you've been kicked out by your developer or some other reason. You cannot go to your front end and reset your password. And then you don't have access to your WordPress dashboard anymore. There is a solution and that is resetting your password through your MySQL database. It's really easy, it's real simple, and I'm gonna show you how. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button if you found this helpful, and let's get started. All right, so here we are at the back end of our WordPress website. Now, if you've been locked out of your WordPress website or someone's come in and hacked your website and changed your password, you can't even get into this back end. And let's say our user Jim Jones, who's an editor, had his password hacked and his account hacked. And now the offending person came in and also changed the email address. So now Jim Jones can't even go to the front end to reset his password. Jim Jones has no more access to the back end of WordPress. And this could be a very dangerous thing could, because this, if this happened to the admin, then there would be no way to change this password. For uh, demo purposes, let's say I'm the admin and it was my password that got changed. Now, if, if it was just Jim Jones and his account got hacked, I as an admin could come in and change his password and give him a new email and fix all that stuff. Let's say Jim Jones was an administrator and that's where it becomes very dangerous because an admin has access to all the user accounts and has the ability to change passwords, emails, and stuff like that. So it really is best to just have one admin. <clears throat> Oftentimes what I see happen is people have too many admins and something like this could happen. So let's just get down to it. So Jim Jones has been locked out of the website. He can't change his password and he this email address that he entered for his username is no longer valid. So how do we give Jim Jones a new password and update all of his information? So what you need to do is you need to log into your PHP My Admin, okay? Your MySQL database. And from there, you need to go to the database uh, attached to your website. You could have multiple databases here, so make sure you're on the right one. I know this one is mine. And what you wanna do is come all the way down here to users. Now, the, the following letters right here will be different according to uh, how you set up your website. Many of them will, will be WP underscore whatever. So right here, you want to find users. And when you select on your users, you can see here your users that you have attached to your WordPress account. I wanna stop here and stress the importance of why you don't make everyone an admin, why you don't give everyone access to your uh, PHP or your MySQL databases, why you don't give everyone access to your FTP, file account transfer. There's ways to set up access to your uh, PHP admin and stuff like that without giving someone full-blown access to everything. Okay, so set up user accounts for your FTP. Set up user accounts for your WordPress that isn't an admin. Give access to your WordPress developer without giving 100% access, okay? So you never really want to give away 100% access unless it's someone that you truly trust. This is a pretty common problem and the best way to ad uh, address it is to have high security, use strong passwords, and don't give admin access to everybody. All right, so here we are in Jim Jones user account. Okay, so what we wanna do is click on edit. The password is stored in this string right here, okay? 
and it's called the MD5 hash is a, is a simple term for it. In order to update this password, I can't just enter the new password here. So I'm gonna make a new password, okay? And it, let's call it temp-admin-123. Now, if I just enter that into here, it won't change the password. It won't work. This string that was here is, let me just refresh this. String right here is basically code for the password. And the way we get this string is through the MD5 hash generator. So your next step is to come over here and to Google and search for MD5 hash generator. You could, there's a, gonna be a bunch of them. You could really use whichever one you want. I'm gonna go ahead and select this one, md5hashgenerator.com. Here is where you can read a little bit more about what an MD5 hash, tag, hash is. And basically it's, it's an algorithm, okay, in order to store passwords, credit card numbers, and other sensitive data in databases as the popular MySQL. Okay, so that's exactly what we're using. And it's a way to hide the characters in your, in your credit card or your, um, your passwords, all right? And it's important to know that an MD5 hashtag is not encryption. It's simply a fingerprint of the given input. However, it is a one-way transaction and as such, it is almost impossible to reverse engineer an MD5 hash to retrieve the original string. So just because somebody knows what this hash is, doesn't mean that they can necessarily uh, reverse this and figure out what the password is. So we need a new password. And our new password is going to be temp-pass-123. Now, obviously that's a horrible password. I would never use that. Um, this password and this user will be deleted after this video is created. Always make sure that we're using strong passwords, okay? Even when they're temporary passwords that we're gonna give to our user, like an editor, because we never know how long it's gonna take for them to change their password to a custom one that they create. So we wanna make sure we at least give them a strong password. But anyways, let's just use this one, temp-pass-123, all right? So we're gonna generate this MD5 hash, and there it goes. It's gonna give us this new hash right there. Okay, so we're gonna copy that. We're gonna come into here and we're gonna paste this right there. All right, just like that. We don't need to change anything else. Now, if this person was hacked and their email address was changed to a new email address, this is where you could change that too. Reinstate their old email address and that will be very helpful for to getting them back to logged in, all right? So once that is done, you wanna come and press go. Okay, and everything's been changed. It will show you the row that's been affected. You're good to go. So you could close your PHP. You could close this uh, hash generator. We're gonna go to our website and we're gonna log out. Okay, so let's try this. So our new username, our name was Jim Jones and the password is temp-pass-123. All right, let's go ahead and log in and boom, there you go, it works. And now this user can come in to their profile and change their email address. Or if you had changed your e their email address, it will show up here and you're good to go. And now your user can also come in and change their password as well. Set a new password and stuff like that. And now this user or yourself is back into your website. There you go. You're back in to your WordPress website with a new password and a new email address if needed. Don't forget prevention is key here. Don't make too many people admins. It should be you as an admin and maybe at the most your developer. You do not need editors. You do not need SEO people. You do not need designers to have full admin access. Set them up a user account according to the access they need and don't risk it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like it, and I'll catch you next one. Aloha.